He's um, Molly Meldrum. Uh, what's it about? Uh, we've come to play him a tape. He doesn't see anyone without an appointment. Oh, but we've got an appointment. Well, then, has uh, Brian sent around those new records yet? Oh, hi, fellas. G'day. Hi. Oh, uh, these guys are trying to con me into getting you to listen to their tape. No, no, we're not trying to con you. We had a call from Molly's secretary telling us to be here at night. Well, do you know anything about this? Certainly do not. Well, look, I'm sorry, guys. Like, uh, we're very busy around here, and Lynn's my secretary, and she makes the appointments. There must be a mistake. I I'm Scott Robinson. That's my count. Yeah, but look, I don't even know you. I mean, like, as I said, look, we're really busy. Um, look, all I can think of is someone's just pulling a leg, mate. What about the phone call? Like Molly said, somebody's playing a joke on you guys. Well, look, now that we're here... We sent the music to Brian Hanson. Did he say anything to you about that? No, only about today's appointment. Yeah. Maybe he forgot. Couldn't you ask? Look, guys, I'm sorry, we're really busy. Do you mind? Sorry for barging in here and, you know, wasting your time and everything. Yeah, sorry. Mm. All that work for nothing, hey? Mm. Hold on, do you mean to say you spent a lot of work doing this? Yeah, had a full track and everything. Oh, can you, what can we do? Oh, look, you've got a really busy schedule coming up the next couple of weeks. Yeah. We can look, uh, we can spare a couple of minutes. You mean you listen to it for us? Yeah, I'll listen to it, but just, just remember one thing. I can't promise you anything, all right? Don't hold your breath. We get hundreds of demos, so it might be weeks before you get an answer. Thanks, anyway. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, no worries. Take yeah, care right. of yourselves. Right. What a softy. Yeah, but look, they deserve a break. Come on, put it on now. We'll have a what, listen. What, now? To yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, we've got a couple of minutes and you never know. I mean, it could be another pseudo echo. He's going to love it. I've got a feeling. Yeah. I hope you're right. Do you really think the song's good enough? Oh, it's great. Well, it's promising anyway. Yes, I can see a big future for those two guys. Here we go again. What's wrong with a bit of positive thinking, huh? Hey, how did it go? Great. Fantastic. He loved it, right? I hope you told him I did the harmony. He didn't hear it. What? What happened? What did he say? He's keeping it to play later, right? Probably just throw it straight in the bin. But he asked you to bring it. He wanted to meet you. Never heard of us, Clive. Well, what about the appointment? Someone's idea of a joke, I'd say. I knew it was too good to be true. Shouldn't have let you talk me into helping. It's a waste of time. Who would do that? Who knows? We'll find out. Making fools of us like that. Come on, mate. Better get back to school. Isn't he even going to listen to the tape? Well, he said he would. Fat chance. He might. He's going to love it. Huh? Well, what do you reckon? What? You're asking me? Since when do you need a second opinion? Oh, come on, then. I just want to know what you think. Well, I think it's OK. It's not great, but it's all right. Yeah, but it's got something. It's definitely got something. Yeah, there's something there. Hmm. Hey, listen, when's Brian coming over? It'd be funny if he liked it. It'd be a joke that it backfired. Yeah. In fact, whoever set those guys up could just well be doing them a favour. Do you reckon he played the song? No way. Only took it to get rid of us. Well, you've got to give these things a go. Like me and Jane trying out to be cheerleaders. Well, that's different. We were serious. Well, so were we. Look, you're never going to be a big star. None of us are. It's just a dream. For you, maybe. But we could have done it. If only we hadn't made such fools of ourselves. But we had an appointment. What's wrong, Scotty? Didn't Mr. Malcolm like your song? Did you tell everyone? No. How did you know? So, what happened? Did he sign you up, ask you to write an album? Scott and Mike are going to be big stars. They get their autographs now. Cut it out, Sue. You don't know anything, Sue. Oh, yeah? I wouldn't be dumb enough to try and gatecrash Molly Meldrum's place. We had an appointment. Oh, you mean the one Molly Meldrum's secretary made for you over the phone, Scotty? It was you. <laughs> you fell for it. He nearly died when I told him Molly Meldrum's secretary wanted to see him. You set the whole thing up. You asked for it. You Leave it, Lenny. She deserves it. Yeah, well, remember what happened when Jane hit her. Yeah, lay a hand on me and your parents will have to cough up plenty of tears. Drop it, Charlene. Nobody treats me like dirt and gets away with it. Bye-bye, rock stars. Just you wait, Sue. 
What are you laughing at, you pimply jerk? Cut it out. You're laughing at us. Let it. You're just going to let them get away. There's nothing we can do. We've got to get Sue back. Look, I don't want to get kicked out of school. You heard what she said. Don't think I don't want to, but we can't. Well, we don't have to bash her. We should think of something else. I, I know what Charlene, we... Charlene, forget right. it. Okay, okay. No, I don't want to cause any trouble. I just want to pass this year. Yeah, me too. Well, then I can worry about what I'm going to do next year. I thought you guys had it all figured out. Dead keen on being big songwriter. Oh, well, rub it in, why don't you? Well, at least you tried. But who knows, you might have made it. Look at Jane, the biggest dag before. And now it looks like she's going to be a cheerleader. Who would have thought? She's the only one who didn't care about it. Now she's the one who's going to do well. Mm. So what? I mean, who wants to be famous? It's all just a lot of hype. Yeah. And it breaks up friendships, too. Well, look at me and Jane. I mean, it doesn't last, either. I probably would have made oh, one payment on the Porsche and that'll be it. Yeah. Would be nice, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, better get to biology, I suppose. Yuck. Formaldehyde. Makes you smell dead rat. You're not supposed to wear it, well, dummy. I can't help being clumsy. Well, at least dissecting frogs is easier than trying to break into the music industry. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How about that one? Like it? Yeah, I, I don't so. know. It's, it's sort of like a... You hated it. I didn't say that. I'll try the next one. Actually, Brian, uh, Molly's got one for you to have a listen to. Oh, yeah, I nearly forgot. A couple of kids brought this around this morning. Come on, Molly, my desk's piled high with these things. Every kid wants to be a star. Look, it won't kill you to have a listen. Oh, spare me. Look, we felt sorry for these two. Some joker phoned them up and said that you had recommended their song to Molly. They fronted here this morning thinking they had a genuine appointment. I'm weeping tears of blood. Well, apparently they've sent you the music. Well, how would I know? Robbo looks after all those things. Oh, come on, Brian. Do yourself a favour and us as well. Look, you might be surprised. <sighs> all right. But you owe me one. Yeah. Do you want a hand with this mess, Homer? Or not? Yeah. Well, if you're not going to be in showbiz, better pass the exam. <laughs> Chuck this in the bin, will you, Liz? So. You get that? Why do I have to do everything? Hello, Lucy Robertson speaking. Hang on. God! Who do you want? Okay. It's Molly Meldrum's secretary. I can't be. That's what she said. I thought Molly said it'd take weeks. He did. Bet with Sue Parker. No, she wouldn't. Not again. You want to make a bet? Listen here. Yeah, I've had enough, so just rack off. I don't believe it. He told me to rack off. You got it? No. Gee, you are dumb. How many times do I have to tell you? can't help it. All these signs and cosines. Be easier to learn Japanese. Can you two keep it down, please? I'm trying to do my homework. You're drawing horses. It's my art homework. Well, go and do it somewhere else, Lucy. Why don't you come over to my place and do it, Luce? It's not much fun around here. You won't just do that. OK, OK, I'm being a grouch. I could kill Sue Parker for those phone calls. Well, couldn't we all? But it's not our fault. Save the egg roll for Sue. All right, all right, all right. Don't, don't go. I'll try and keep my mouth shut. Well, listen, Molly hasn't said yes or no about the song yet anyway. He may love it. Yeah, pigs might fly too, eh? Hey? <sighs> Time for a coffee break, eh? Hey? Good idea. I'll give you a hand. Oh, good. So is it the door? You've got legs, Liz. You say I didn't come to see your father. I know you. You're the rock singer. Uh, 
promoter, actually, uh, Brian Hansen. Oh, yeah. Is uh, Scott in? Could I see him? Scott! Scott! What? Come in here for a minute. Easy. Excuse me, my brother. He's here, Brian Hansen. Who? Brian Hansen is here to see you. Oh, Lucy, not you too. It's a pretty old joke, Lucy, and it's not very funny. I'm not joking. Stop making things up. I'm not. Excuse me. Brian Hansen. See, I told you. And you must be Scott Robinson. Yeah, yeah. And uh... Charlene Mitchell, backup vocals. Ah, right. You heard the tape. Did you like it? Very interesting. Oh, that's great. I mean, I know it needs a lot of work and everything, but with your backing, wow, our first hit. Well, when do we start recording? Hey, one step at a time, Scott. You've got plenty of years ahead of you yet. Yeah, I know, but the song, you liked it, didn't you? And Molly, what do you think? Well, let's face it, it was a great first effort, but... Uh, you didn't like it. On the plus side, it's got a lot going for it. I mean, tons of energy, terrific backup vocals. That's a great little voice you've got there, Charlene. Tons of potential. Oh, thanks. As a matter of fact, that's why I'm here. How would you like to come in and try singing in a proper studio to see just what you can do? I mean, we're always on the lookout for new talent, and thanks to Scott here, we might just have struck gold with you. Me? You want me? That's right. I could be a singer. It's great. I don't believe it! Neighbor, everybody needs good neighbors. Just a friendly wave each morning. Helps to make a better day.